Hello, everyone. So welcome to today's session. And in this session, we are going to discuss one of the important uh, Java coding interview question along with the solution that is asked in most of the MNC companies. The question is that we need to write a Java program that will shift all the zeros to the end of an array while keeping the order of the non-zero elements intact. Okay, so let's say if you have a uh, array like this input equal to you have a zero comma four comma zero again comma one then zero four seven eight you have an array in this manner so this is your input array now we need the output as that is we have to write a java program such that your output should be four one four seven eight zero 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 so all the zero based elements should be shifted at the end and your non-zero elements should be shifted towards the left but at the same time it is important that you should be able to preserve their order so i'll first explain how you would do dry run for this particular array and then we'll see the code logic as well so let's say uh, you have fast that is your one of the variable and you have array of fast then what action we are going to perform so that we will be doing here and what would be the array after the action perform right so this will be the action and our array after the action so first so at the initial level we'll start the value that will be assigned to the variable fast would be zero so array of fast so array of zero is zero itself okay now since it's a zero then we will skip it okay so your array after action remains as it is zero four zero four seven eight right so i'll keep the same array so no change because we are we are skipping this operation we've got a zero element itself then our fast will be one so array of one is your four okay so as you know array is having index based operation okay so what would be your action here till now we were doing it zero skip and we got initially was zero so we skip but this time we are getting one sorry we are getting four here so we will now swap so swap we will do and we'll take one more variable we'll have slow plus plus we'll increment that particular variable okay, that will keep its distance okay so now your swapping is happening so now your four comes here your zero goes here and the remaining part of your array remains the same now we have swapped the things because we have to ensure that all the non-zero elements should go towards the left and all the zeros we have to move towards the right so in order to move all the zeros towards the right at the end of the array we will have to keep all the non-zero elements towards the left then comes your fast as two so array of two is again a zero right so it will be skipped operation the array would remain as it is okay next comes your three then array of three would be one okay now this time the swap operation would happen so we'll do swap of three comma one we'll do slow plus plus okay so we are swapping now since we have got a non-zero based element we are swapping now your array becomes four comma one comma zero 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 four seven eight these are all your elements so you can see you can see all the zero based elements you have started shifting them towards the right side then comes four okay so array of four 
so it is again a zero so no change in the array it will be zero skipped right then comes five and uh, it is array of four here and now we will do the swap operation five comma two okay and will increment slow variable with the one and at the same time now your new array would be becoming four comma one okay comma four right swapping is happening from five to two okay remaining zero 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 seven comma eight so this is dry run and will continue till array of fast becomes equal to eight that is your index value is seven right and then you will achieve this final output so this is how you have to work on this particular program now let us see this uh, program from the coding perspective so what we will do we'll create a code in the intellij okay, let me go to intellij here fine and we'll create a new class here new of i would say my shift zeros keep it like this shift zero as my class name simple name okay and uh, we'll start with the function so the function that we were just uh, seeing on the arrays so public static void will create one function shift zeros swap integer of array okay we'll create a simple function like this okay then we will say if array is equal to so first we are keeping one basic checkpoint okay that is if it is equal to null or if the array length of an array is less than two then we have to return okay so that is our basic checkpoint that we are keeping then we have to return so that's your first thing if your array is uh, empty or it's a null error okay then we'll create one of the variable integers low equal to zero okay and we'll have a for loop integer wherein we will have integer fast equal to we'll start from the zero and we want to iterate till what particular moment we want to iterate till the length of an array and we'll say fast plus plus so we'll want to iterate till the length of an array okay then if my fast is not equal to slow so this is my if condition all right so what we will do now we'll go with the swap based operation so we'll create one variable integer t which is equal to array of fast okay then we'll start swapping now array of fast equal to array of slow and array of slow equal to so once this if condition is met if fast is not equal to slow then and then only we have to go for this particular swapping operation and we'll keep on incrementing slow always that's an important thing right we'll keep on incrementing it and uh, your function gets closed and now we'll have our so this is zeros if array is not equal to null return and this is your one bracket is opening here one bracket is closing here okay okay fine then here we can have main method 
so public static void main and we'll have integer of arr equal to the same array that we took there 0 4 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 or 4 7 comma 8 this is your array simple array and uh, we'll now swap this thing so we'll call our function shift zeros of swap and therein we'll pass this array and then we'll print system dot out dot println okay our shifted arrays so that would be your uh, arrays string of a sim okay so that's how we will be doing this program so let's run this program Let's see the output that you are getting. Mm. Okay, so you are getting the output as a zero four zero one zero four seven eight. Okay, wait, means something is uh, missing here. Okay, we are having this array, and this array we have passed here, and we are trying to print. Okay, okay, I got it. So we are trying to print the array here, and. Uh, the expected is four one four seven eight. Let us print before array and let us print after this operation. Okay, so that means it is not going in this particular for loop. So let's debug this now. So integer, you have slow equal to zero and you have kept one for loop integer fast equal to zero. Fast is less than array dot length. Array of integer t equal to array of fast. And array of fast is equal to array of slow. And array of slow is equal to t. So it looks good here, right? Not an issue at all. Fine. So we have got the solution. So what we have done, we have included this both if condition within this for loop. So if fast is not equal to slow, right? So we want to avoid the unnecessary swap. So if it is not equal to, if both the things are not equal, then and then only we have to go for the swap. And the if condition which we had kept outside of the for loop that we have brought inside, right? So these two minor changes we have done to the program and we are getting the output for this particular program. All right so that's it for today's session thank you so much for watching this session and uh, we'll connect in the next session soon thank you